Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murdo Hobo Inc. Uh, the one shot, however, tonight uh, we're co-hosting with Spawn of Cyclops Convention online out of Atlanta, Georgia. We appreciate the opportunity to play with them and for them. Uh, tonight we will be playing the Eye in the Tower because, uh, you know, Cyclops and I have no imagination whatsoever so screw Eye it in the tower uh follow us on twitch <laughs> follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D, join our discord if you want to buy our crap uh like a phone case uh that works uh the link is down there if you don't want to look at uh this money maker you can always just go to our Podbean account and just listen to us instead for the hilarity uh we'd like to thank pirate dog dice for dice that may or may not be used tonight. Uh, it depends on how well DJ is rolling his spells. And of course, <laughs> as always, if your game stinks, because ours never do, try some Adventure Sense from Oddfish Games. Uh, they will make your stinky game smell a whole lot better, unless it is putrid mm -hmm. sewers, and you give that to people you don't like, like your boss. Uh, as I said, this is part of the spawn of Cyclops convention. We are on day two of three. Sadly, we will not be doing any tomorrow. Tomorrow is, of course, the Margu campaign with Tri Generational. We have two of those guys here, and let's start with them. Uh, we will go with Little Frank. Little Frank, who are you and who are you playing? I am Dusty Bottoms, the Tortuga brother number one. I am a portal. Or how do you pronounce Where is it? You're a portal hell for a blood hunter. Blood hunter with a Yakawa. I like the name. He likes to talk about his weapon. It's called the Yakawa. Can't get it out of his hand. I know. It's so great. Well, he is a teenager. <laughs> Ew, gross. I can't believe you would say that. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> uh, up next, uh, bigger Frank. Not senior Frank, but Not bigger senior. Frank. I'm the middle man. Middle and friend. My name is Ned Niederlander uh, Bottom, just to appease some people in the party. <laughs> I am the other Tortuga brother. I am also a blood hunter. I'm just the better one. And I don't need to talk about my weapons to be impressive. I, I don't need, I just need to talk about them because I am better. That's why. And we're oh, both, as, as in the name, Tortuga, we're both portal. That's going to be all night long, folks, so get prepared for that. Next up is Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing? Hey, this is for mature audience, so, I mean, I guess I could say whip him out and compare, but... Uh, but hey, anyway. you are playing that character. <laughs> True, I'm not playing Rainia tonight. Hi, everyone. I'm Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and commission mini painter. And tonight, oh, I also play in the Thursday campaign. This is like, we have one from each. We have representatives from each campaign, so they're on here tonight. Ours are better. It's really kind of cool. Really. Because, the yeah, you. This campaign is, oh, okay, yeah, me. Okay. Yeah, you. You're, you're <laughs> Saturday, they're Sunday, we're bi-weekly Thursday. So uh, I'm, play, well, I'm playing Andre Yeager in that one. And uh, tonight, though, I'm playing Rosa the Raven, who, if you watch Cacophony, she appeared there, appeared there a couple times, and uh, I believe, what was it? Oh, yeah, the steeple. Is it still damaged, or did they finally fix it? There's still part of your face on that steeple. Still part of your face on the steeple, yep, yep, yep. From that ill-fated uh, Zeppelin trip. Did you Zeppelin, put right? children and nuns' eyes out in that trip? Probably because I fell off the freaking Zeppelin and just ended up tipping upside down and coins fell out of my pocket. So it was not on purpose. Poor one. Wow. You dick. <laughs> uh, last but certainly not least is uh, DJ. DJ, who are you and who are you playing? Hello, I'm DJ and uh, I will be playing the wizard uh, N uh, Nigel uh, Meatly. I can't uh, do it. He is a gnome wizard, uh, Order of the Scribe. God, I hate this cast already. Uh, <laughs> folks, like I said, Love this us. is a convention scenario. These guys are third level. <laughs> uh, they are currently in a tavern because why the hell not? Listening to an old geezer talk about a gem that's the size of a man's fist. No, the size of a man's head. And it is in this old tower that's haunted nearby. Uh, each of you can go ahead and ask 
uh, the old geezer who's really getting drunk. Uh, any question that you'd like before A, going off to uh, adventure into this tower, or B, uh, completely erasing all the work I did on this scenario and doing something else. Either way, anybody got any questions for the geezer? Uh, have you been there? Were you actually there? No, I'm not that brave. Only the bravest souls would be able to go to that tower. No, and I am sanity. No, you're not. I am. No, I am. I am. You, so, so the important question is: Do you have a longitude and latitude to where this location is? Do you have any ge uh, geographical uh, information that you can give us about the surroundings? Huh? I have to get some liquor. <laughs> What the hell's a langitude? Oh, you're one of those special folks. Well, okay, so man. can you tell us the location? Yeah, where is it, man? Oh, he's like a familiar. Are you casting a spell? I don't get what you're doing here. Sir, why are you telling us the story? Is it he just I'll tell you what, you like alcohol, right? What if I what if I buy you a round for that info? I will tell and you I'll more smile. information for another round. All right. I smile pretty too. Can I uh, can I make a persuasion check to see how much you'll tell us? Sure. Let's see, what is my persuasion? Is it persuasion in the yes it is. Oh, that's right. And I got a good persuasion to begin with. Oh, and that's an 18 starts. That's a 25. It's Foresight Castle, and it's about uh, 20, 25 langitudes that way. <laughs> langitudes. Well, I mean, what's in there? What's supposedly Ghosts there? and gremlins. Probably some goblins and evil fire-breathing dragons. But uh, Where did you hear this story from, sir? Competent adventuring ilk like yourselves. Well, maybe no, not no, like no, no, no. Yeah, they can't be true. There's no one else that's competent. Uh huh. Well, Mister Langitude, I don't like your longitude. <laughs> Are you You're seemingly using that terminology incorrectly. Are you? I, 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 I look to the rest of the party. It's like I, I don't know if he really knows what he's talking about. He, he wisdom. doesn't, Derry. Hey, Derry, oh, no. he God. doesn't. He's drunk oh. too. Uh, so, uh, did you just call him short? Are you insulting his height? Oh, you could his long. <laughs> you didn't like his longitude. You have longitude. I find you know you're drunk. I guess that's as that's as fair. I'm only as thick as you drunk I am, lady. Yeah. And if you think you're brave enough to go to Foresight Tower, then whoo, go ghost, ahead. Ghost, ghost, most. The giant I, jewel I is on the highest tower at the castle. If you think you can do it, I'll buy you a drink. So oh, wait, I, a, wait, wait a second, wait a second. You said I, you got this information from a competent adventuring party prior to this uh, uh, uh uh, meeting that we're having here. Why didn't they, they they take the jewel? Am I talking over your head, short stuff? Oh, <laughs> that's actually impossible. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much about it. <clears throat> they are not money grubbing thieves. They were just passing through on their way here to tell me about it. And why, why did they tell you about it? Yeah, that is my question, too. Why would they tell you about it? Because I'm so freaking personable. Uh, he kind of is. And one of them was dating my sister. Oh. Well, he, your brother. <laughs> no, my brother dates my mother. <laughs> ah, okay. I see. There's a, oh, whole, there, there's a whole thing there that. Uh, <coughs> His family tree is a circle. Nice. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. What's your intelligence for your character? Oh, it's a lot better than before. It's actually, what's my, my intelligence is a plus one. So I am. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that okay. joke then. I'll, I'll give you that joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm better. It's, your charisma hasn't improved. It hasn't improved. It's still a zero. <laughs> that's why we're doing the talk. That's why I'm doing the talking, right? That's right. 
Oh yes, his he's got some uh, family lineage issues. <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything else we need to know from him? I mean, ghosts. Most. I mean, I are there any other inhabitants in the area that surround this tower? That's a good question. D twelve against me. Oh. The one. Oh, oh no, jeez. She got a one too? Uh, <laughs> there was this giant creature in the moonlight turns into a, like a wolf, but I think that guy's full of shit. <laughs> I key. Um, does anybody own the particular land that this tower sits upon? Do I look like the town assessor? From what you expressed, it sounds like you are like the knowledgeable one within the town. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've 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 forgotten more than you know. You know, I find that actually quite impossible. (laughs) I don't even remember your name right now, so that's one thing. That's not surprising, really. Actually, actually, Nigel maybe has forgotten because he's probably forgotten everything except for uh, the story. I don't know if there's anything left inside of his head except except for booze. I'm pretty it's, sure it's just a mug in there. So here's here's, here's a question. Do, do you remember your name? Good sir. Yeah. Yes. What is it? Fizzle Thistle Wart. Okay. All right. Entrepreneur so have- and Esquire. So can you point this location well, out on a map? <laughs> do we have a map? Thanks. You oh. do not have a map. No, that's <laughs> Why didn't you ask for a map? I was just asking if you could point it out. He <laughs> gave us. I had one. I did yeah, believe- yeah, You know what? Give me your dagger. Don't give him your dagger. Ain't no way hell give him a dagger. I'm pretty sure All he'll right. chop off his fingers. Not on a first date, sir. <laughs> Okay, you give me your dagger. No. Give me your dagger. No, I give want your dagger. You give me your dagger. No, mom said you had to. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I pull out a dagger and I put it down. I, I don't think that's why. So he takes the dagger and he starts digging into the table. And he puts a big X in here and he goes, this is where you are, metaphorically speaking. Okay. Uh, uh, that's a long He knows that big you. word. Wow, I'm so impressed. you go you go this way over Dead Man's Hill, right here. This is Dead Man's Hill, and, and then you go down into the Plains of Death. What? And then you go through the Forest of No Return. And, wow! And what right a... there on the other side is Forsyth Castle. Is this is going to be the greatest pirate tale ever, with treasure at the end. Let's so I here. take I my dagger back. back. Nigel has t- has a has taken out a book and a quill, and it actually just starts floating and writing on its own as he starts taking down these notes. Well, ain't that pretty? Can I borrow that dagger again? Uh, I, I put away the book. No, no. That, that so he starts playing mumbly peg. Who wants to challenge me? I know. Give me and that I think dagger. it's time for a shoot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to chop off a finger. Let's see if he does. If he does, can I keep it? I'm not going to uh, stop you from taking it. He bleeds twice, but does not cut off a finger. Damn it. He's probably good at it. Bump not, not according to the scars. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, he's got all of his digits, right? He hands you back your dagger. Thank you. That dagger's been cursed. Blood cursed. Got to be faster. Got to be faster. <laughs> No, I took. I whisper. I whisper to Rosa. Just not shot him and take it. I just take it. I mean. Hey, didn't you say you're going to buy me another drink? Oh yeah, yeah. What do you want? Uh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll order. We'll order oh, on our way go. out. What do you think I? Want? We'll, we'll order on the way out. I will. Let, yeah, let's no. go. We are. No, we are going. I just buy another drink. <clears throat> I was going to order him water. No, Jeez. it's not Our sporting. Kid, that man right over there is going to take care of our cat. Walk out the door. <laughs> nice, nicely done. I've actually, yeah, Rose is a pirate with some honor, so she does pay for his drink. 
Oh. Rosa the pirate, aka the rogue, has some honor. Yep. Wow. This one does. Well, that's because she low how... strength because she lifted his sack. <laughs> Lo, how the mighty have fallen. Okay. No, uh... no, she's always like, it's always been like this. Come <clears throat> so on. So, do you guys follow the directions by the magical quill? Uh, yeah. Um, is there a, so we're in a town, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I suggest we just, uh, Nigel's like, you know, <laughs> we should probably verify his directions to make sure that these areas are actually are located together or to see if there's like a safer route just around all these. I'm assuming there's some type of road or trail nearby. Who would you look ask? at the local map at the, uh, gate. I don't know, a guard or something. Yes, the guard. All right, fine. We can ask a guard. Let's just start walking to the gate. Guards, guards standing there, sees you coming. What do you want? A uh, good man. Uh, good sir. Oh, good sir. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> good sir is my father. Oh, I'm sorry. Good person. <laughs> Who are uh, you then? Uh, see why you like this. You want to talk to Who be you? Uh, Who be you? We are what do you want? for the Tower of, what did he call it again? Foresight. Mordor? What side to keep? The key, yeah. Do you know its uh, location? Yeah, you take this road, you go about two miles, you hang a right, it's right there. I thought it was like 20 miles away. Yeah. Okay, take this road. It's abandoned, so be careful when you're traveling through it. Yeah, Some of the rafters here. might fall. Oh, okay. So have you heard any stories about there, there might be ghosts inhabiting the place or no? Yeah, I've, I've, I've heard a bunch of jackasses talking about that. Ghosts don't exist. See? I mean, I've heard plenty of pirate ghost stories, but uh, I, I give little Pirates. credence Can to them. Those verify, bastards all need to be in prison. Can you verify the sightings about a uh, a wolf creature when the moon is full? I don't know what you're talking about. Fair enough. It's, it's all I'm asking for. All right. Move along. Let's go. This is not the droid you're looking for. Move along. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, down the road he points at. Start walk, wandering that way, meandering <clears> for a couple miles. There's like a, a, a small hill, and then there's a dip, and then there's like a little, little copse of trees. And then there's open land, and right over there, you see old ruins of a tower sitting on a crag. Oh, okay. Well, that matches up in a way what the old man was talking about. <laughs> Just not 20 miles down the road. No colorful Hi. names. Yeah. All right, I'm going to approach the tower. Uh, D12 against me. Yeah, D12. No. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yes. D12. Come on. Pan. Uh, you guys make it there in pretty good time. It's early afternoon. Yes, sir? Uh, I will be casting Mage Armor myself now that sure. we've arrived. The guard told you there wasn't anything to worry about. Hey, what? Sure. Maybe I should worry about the rafters. That's true. You got to worry about the rafters. So if any of you are construction engineers, that might be a, a chief priority. Yeah, might want uh, to figure that out. <clears throat> Let's see, moving past the section. Uh, as you approach it, you notice that this old set of ruins uh, has a moat. Oh, is the moat full? The moat is not full. It looks like just mud. Uh, but the rafter, or I'm sorry, the beams uh, that form the drawbridge across it, uh, everybody give me an insight check. <coughs> Nat 20. Three. For a well, Mr. Smarty Pants, how you 20, feel? <laughs> 21. You can't do much when you roll a one. Ten. Ten. Oh, you nat one, and I rolled a nat 20. How about that? 14 and 10. Uh, the Tortuga brothers are like, eh, I've seen worse. Uh, Rosa, uh, that looks sketchy as hell. And uh, Nigel, the smart one, oh, yeah. There should not be any problem crossing that at all. <laughs> no, that would be, we, we have must proceed with caution. Now, How else well are we going to get across? Now, who, which Tortuga brother got the 14? Tortuga brother and Rosa, you notice 
Uh, there appears to be a fresh corpse in damaged chain mail in the mud. Down below. Are there mm -hmm. other Does it look like alligators ate them? No. Alligators in the moats, right? Mudgators. Well, there's no water here. It's no, 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 no. It's, it's not alligators. It's mud skippers. <coughs> vicious, vicious mud so, skippers. Vicious yeah, no, you're going to have to. Uh, unusual size. Yes. You're going to have to approach closer to go ahead and see if there is a cause of death that is clearly. Hey, open. wizard boy, don't you have like mage hand or something? Can't you drag that up here? Hang on, listen, wizard, wizard sir. boy. Listen, sir. Listen, sir. Fine. My name is not Mage Boy. It is <laughs> Nigel Meekly. I would yeah. prefer if you refer to me in the proper uh, uh, sense and give me respect. And yes, I do. You need, <laughs> I cast Mage Hand. <laughs> you need to call him N, -N, -N M, Nigel. Uh, you cast Mage Hand. N -N 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 oh, N -N -N. Yep. You cast Mage Hand to rifle around and move it a bit and stuff. Uh, it seems to be pretty stuck in the muck. Uh, I.e., the mage hand is not, not strong quite enough. strong enough. I don't want to go in the mud. But I mean, you what can always this... go. What if you we throw always... rope down to the mage hand? Could it tie it off? Onto make a the noose. Door? Make a noose. Throw it around the neck, <coughs> and then we yeah. can drag it from there. You know what? D twelve against me. We'll see if that's uh, reasonable. Oh wow! You are. You suck. So yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you can. His head. You you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Wait, so, can we? So, well, uh, you can try. In the words of every DM ever. What does it require? Oh, dang it! I guess it's to give it to the <clears throat> mage hand and have the mage hand try to tie it around. Correct. Which I think it can actually do, right? Yeah, it can do. Yes. That. Okay, so we do that. I pull out some rope and well, we do that. Nigel, since you're the one uh, doing the hand, D12. <coughs> this one. Three. Off pops his head. <laughs> and the rope, not... the rope is freed. <laughs> Tie it to his ankle. Yeah, his ankle is submerged. He's kind of leaning in halfway. Tie it under his armpit. Yeah. D12 against me. I'm going to tear off his arm. We're going to well, get him piecemeal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to get him piecemeal. <laughs> Seven. Twelve. Nope. You took his arm off. <laughs> other arm. Hey, is the, is the... Uh, the other arm is already half into the muck. So. Okay. All right, then we... through the chain mail, uh, uh, through the neck piece down to the arm. <laughs> Okay, last, that, last roll. That's mm, that one's hard to. Oh. If you roll that fucking twelve. Nine. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> such a, oh, I believe it. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, David's right. We need a dice cam. Yeah, I, I do need. We to get really a need a dice, dice cam. cam. Uh, well, you've completely obliterated the body, and it's. Slowly sinking into the muck. About that time, everybody we, give me a perception check. Oh my god, do we really care that much about that? Um, Natural 20, baby. Well, the best. You suck. I'm the great. I, I rolled a dirty 20. I don't Seven, care. That's natural. That means I'm better. 17. 20. All of you notice that the mud is <laughs> starting to move. Everybody roll initiative. Oh no. You knew it we didn't see that coming at all. Um, that's the seven. Uh, you, that's no, terrible. You rolled the initiative for both of us. That, that's a nine. I got uh, a 12. A, oh, wow. I got a 10. We all Good, rolled I got terrible. an 18. Uh, oh, no. Mud methods charge <laughs> two apiece on each one of you. Uh, I am going to recount. Uh, oh, my well, God. That's what you said, wasn't it? One through five, uh, the attack will be a fist. On a six, it'll be a mud breath. So on Nigel, Poor Nigel. one and three, so both fists on you. Rosa, uh, six and four, one mud breath, one fist. Uh, Tortuga, one. 
One and three, two fists. Tore two good two. One and four, two fists. So everybody that got a fist, uh, that would be Nigel and the Tortuga brothers. Uh, Nigel? Uh, seven and 12, three, 15? 15 will just hit. Okay, so one hit. Uh, Tortuga one, six and 14, so 17. Uh, that's yeah. exactly the same. He hit you. Tortuga two, five and a four. That's not going to happen. Uh, on Rosa. Oh. Hmm. Natural one. <laughs> that, that mud method falls, but you need to make a DC 11 dex as it vomits mud. Anybody that got hit by a fist will take. There's your crap roll right there. Three hit points of damage. Ow! Ow! Oh, are you freaking kidding me? I did not make the save because I rolled a nine. Uh, you are restrained for one minute. What? Oh, one. I'm just stuck in the mud. All right, I'm not planning on moving anywhere at the moment. So, so we'll start so with 12. Can... Nigel. Um, Nigel will cast Mind Sliver at the one that's attacking him. So, uh, well, Mind Sliver is, so. yeah. Um, actually, doesn't even say it needs intelligence. Anyways, uh, I basically need a DC 14 save, uh, intelligence save. Fail. Okay. So, that's going to be two psychic damage. Well, this is going to be a long fight. <laughs> Uh, whoo. That was bad. It was a bad save to miss. Yeah, that is. You were in deep shit trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yep, yep. Uh, Rosa, good news. Uh, try your save again. Oh, really? And it's not. Uh, nope. Okay, so you're stuck this round. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Tortuga two with the nine. You're up. Oh, we both, yeah, we both rolled nine. So both oh, rolled wait, nine. wait, wait. I used my whole, all my entire action to... Try and get out. All, all of it? Mm -hmm. It's not just, that's not a bonus or it's a full round? The method belches viscous mud onto one creature within five feet of it. If the target is medium or smaller, it must succeed on a DC 11 dex or be restrained for one minute. A creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect of itself on a success. You're covered in mud. Maybe you can make a few bucks at the wrestling pit, but not right now. <laughs> All uh, right. Tortuga Brothers, let's see how you bash. <clears throat> Wait, that was a save at the end of my turn? That was your turn. Wait, but it's wait, it said at the end of my turn, which means I actually get to go. No, you're, say... you're belched and covered in viscous mud. Restrained does not mean I cannot attack. It means I attack at disadvantage. It means uh, I cannot move. I'll give you that. I can attack at the, I'm friggin' gonna attack. It means I can't get sneak attack is what it means. But I can attack with disadvantage and I'm friggin' going to sure as hell do that. <clears throat> but to be fair, I'll just, well, I'm gonna attack. I just, this, this, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, and I'm gonna miss. <laughs> I could I, do I have two weapon I have two weapon fighting too, so oh, no. Uh, it's it's not a bonus action, it's just at the end of my round, right? I just want to get the end of your turn. So all right, so then I do get both attacks. <coughs> uh, and that crap. I rolled a twenty and a one. I fucking hate disadvantage. I'm sorry. Did you yeah. say one? <laughs> yep. Is anybody really within five feet of me other than them, though? No. So your weapon. Yep. I'll roll it. Bing. I don't sneak attack myself, so fortunately there's that. You, Whatever weapon you had is now in the mud. Oh, okay. So just drop it. Yep. Oh, that's bad. Okay, Tortuga so Brothers, start bashing. All right. <coughs> Go ahead. I'm going to hit him with mine. My... Well, we got we to gotta roll a die four. Even on. Well, now here's the thing. If you're attacking the same target... We decided we were. Okay. There, you know there's four of them. Two on and two on, right? Well, attack your own target. Cool. 
Yeah. Right. yeah you, this is not one of those where you want to attack the same target. Are they small creatures? They are. Oh, yeah. Attack your own. Go ahead. Do your attack. Mr. I got a natural 20. I got a natural freaking one so I can hit my brother. <laughs> It is worth it. Uh, odd, you hit your brother, even you throw your weapon away. Roll your die four there, Frankie. Oh, I so want to hit He rolled a two. Uh, even. Oh, there's my easy <laughs> come off. That's a good thing he's got two of them. Yeah. Or did he throw both of them? No, just threw the one. Okay, uh, Tortuga two, you're up. Wow. Ned. <laughs> you only got no weapon. Yeah, plus seven. Shut up. 18? Yep, 13 is what you need to hit the methods. Uh, good. Then I think I shall slash out with 10 points of damage. That'll work. Not real well, but that will work. Uh, round two. Round two. Uh, my methods. You know what? I'm skipping the the whole mud spitting, because that is really going to waste some time. <laughs> uh, seven and a four, uh, Nigel, you are safe. Five and a eight, you are also safe, Rosa. Tortuga one, 18 and <coughs> 12. Does a 15 get you? No. So just the 18 plus three. Final Tortuga brother, a nine and a 10. 13, I assume, does not get you. No, Only one that. of you takes heat, but you take six heat there, uh, Dusty your Bottoms. Nine. Nigel, lead us off in round two. You're muted. All right, all right. You need to stop this before it gets out of hand, and I am just going to cast Magic Missile first level. Sure. <coughs> same target that you hit before? Yeah, same target. Fair enough. So that's going to be... Three for the first missile, three for the second missile. Come on, come on. And three for the uh, third missile, so nine total. That works. Uh, Rosa, still uh, still rolling at disadvantage. Still rolling at disadvantage, then make your save. Uh, let's see, well, that's not... Oh, that's fuck. That's a two. God damn it. I can't roll for shit tonight. Now I say that. See, my dice like to make me a liar. So the second attack, my short. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't make a second attack. <laughs> However, fine. I will use that as my save. That is. Well, definitely you, you can. All you have to do is go get your. Oh, you can't go get your. <laughs> I can now after this. I mean, I'm going to let it just sit on the mud for now. That is a. Uh, but that is well more than 11. On the you finally shake the mud off. Tortuga Brothers, do something real for once. Oh, Go everything ahead. is real. Wrestling. Can you roll and not hit? <clears throat> All right, come. Or throw your other weapon away. Ooh, Natural 20. Yeah. That's pretty nice. Damage. damage, damage modifier. Please, please. Die eight. That's a die eight. So I'm not... What do you? Oh, no. <clears throat> what do they teach you in math class anymore? No, I only. I can love it. No, you I want to get into that. That that that's a personal thing that hurts. Again. So that's fourteen plus, hey, man. plus four, eighteen points of damage. Uh, that one is gone. That one splatters everywhere. Now you do have claws, so you can use a claw attack for your second attack until you get your weapon. Sure. So roll to hit. Roll to hit. No, there it is. What is it? Oh, plus six. No, you missed it by one point. So sad. So he's done. Okay, Niedermeyer or Niederlander. Niedermeyer. I, I was the whole time I was thinking, uh, why are uh, you Delta here? House. A sexless animal. <laughs> Swing it away. Oh, you hit it. That's uh, it. And don't forget, he hates Twisted Sister. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to take it. No, right. we're not going to take, take it. it we're not going to take it anymore. <laughs> The weirdest thing about growing up in that age was watching him in Congress and listening to him and like, what? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's intelligent. 
Oh yeah, that's the points of damage. Uh, on the one that you injured before, or the other one. Yep. Dead. Destroyed. Round three. Uh, everybody, give me a perception check. Well, I'm glad at least that's rolling well. Another nat twenty for a twenty. What did I say? Twenty one. I got so me well. three for me. I got so, no, 23, 23. 16 and 12. Nigel, what was yours? 23. Everybody hears a solitary ring of a bell. Just one ding. The mud methods turn and look at the old ruins and scamper away. If you want an attack of opportunity, you may do so, but they seem to be burrowing back down into the moat. I don't have a weapon out, so I can't do it. <laughs> I just go retrieve my weapon. In the mud? Yeah. Well, wait, how far away did it fall? Uh, roll a d10, both of you. Uh, that's how many feet it fell. Hey, Mage, Mr. Mage Hand. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, Nigel. I see. Now my value really <laughs> shines, doesn't it? It does, anyway. You can reach in and grab that one. All yeah. right. I rolled a my seven. My rolls are doing fantastic. Yeah, uh, the, the Tortuga brother can grab his. You're going to have to get a little muddy there, Rosa. No, I'm going to look sweetly at Nigel and ask him if he would mage hand it out, because he can do that. Can you? Hmm? Go away, Dungeon Master. <laughs> I guess I can. And you're more valuable if you can kill things and protect me. So, Abs- sure. Absolutely. I will That's attempt to up. pull it out. Oh, God. That makes you the king of the moat. Uh, good news. Tortuga Brother 2 and Nigel each have a potion of extra healing from a previous adventure. Uh, that's two doses of a single potion or the double dose of one. Uh, that is just assumed that you found it somewhere on the trail. Nigel has used his mage hand to low pull Excalibur from its muddy confines, <laughs> making him king of the moat. Yay! Are you are you gonna night Rosa with it like Bugs Bunny? No, nope, but it's gonna be dirty when it, it goes into her hands. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> Would you like to cross the boat? Oh, by the way, I don't think all of that's mud in there. <laughs> Probably poo from uh, the chainmail guy because we all know me and poo have a symbiosis. If it <laughs> fell, there. surprised there weren't poop monsters actually. Just. Who uh, who oozes? I, I could have done. Uh, uh, oh, poo mimics. Uh, what what is the uh, movie with Dogma. Golgotha? I no. could have made him Golgothas. <clears throat> so okay. aside from the bridge, is there any way across this moat? Can you fly? Um, well, I sure I can get a pig to fly, but you know what? I cannot. Just to screw with some of the, uh, shall we say, brighter elements of the group, (laughs) there are two large poles on this side of the moat bank. So you could maybe, I don't know, pole vault. Pole vault? No, but I'm sure I could use that pole to reinforce the uh, bridge. Or hold it. Well, I was about to say, if I can pole vault with it, that means I can stabilize myself using it as a balancer to walk across. True. I was going to say, I don't know if the turtle with the giant shell can really oh pull my well. God. Well, you, you could use them in, as a pair and then everybody hang on so that I can throw <laughs> everybody into the pool at once. <laughs> That's a great idea. I like I'm going to see if I can of- reinforce the, uh, the bridge at least where it looks... Uh... Well, actually, no, I think it looks fine. Never mind. Yeah, it's, that's it's right. You roll badly. I'm the one yeah. that thinks it looks poorly. Yeah, I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna head across. I'm gonna uh, let it go. <laughs> I am light. I am small. I weigh less than a hundred pounds. I weigh a shit ton. <laughs> I know you do. Because <laughs> uh, you're a turtle. <laughs> I want to get over there before the turtles go. To the uh, chicken brothers go. Give me a we'll, dex we'll or stop. acrobatics. Nigel. Dex or acrobatics? Dex or acrobatics. That will be a straight dex. That's a 15. 
Ah, uh, his leith frame crosses easily. Who wants to try it next? Me. I want to definitely go before them. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. She just we runs first, right in front of them. We're going we're gonna to go out ahead of her. Me first. Me first. Me first. Me first. I want to be there. What is that? Oh, uh, uh, acrobatics, right? So that's yeah. a 16. Easily crosses. A crossover. Uh, now, uh, Tortuga Brothers, are you pushing and shoving each other? Hell yeah. I told you the bridge is perfectly fine. I don't know what you were worried about. I, hey, by the way, can I give I give Nigel a high five as I get to the other side? You made it. Fine, you want to go? I find that offensive. Yeah. Actually, no. high fives are offensive to my people. Oh, good lord! I don't say the term. I just do the. It's a bad touch. Okay, uh, I'm to my brother to go first. If I'm gonna no. stumble out on it. Then yeah, you got shoved five, forward. Try you with me, jerk hole. Jerk hole is a sign of affection in the Torno community. Uh, well, uh, <coughs> Nederland. Oh, no, it's Dusty Bottoms that's going first. Give me your roll, Dusty. This will be. Yeah, you'll fall all on your own. Come on. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Suck it. That's like 30 <laughs> 20. That's dirty 20. What is your acrobatics plus three? Oh, that's you're only 17. Plus three? So you can suck it. Ned <laughs> Nederland, you're up. Jeez, man. <laughs> Bumble. Sure, by Bumble. the end of this uh, adventure, it's literally Bumble. just going to be a uh, free for all against us each other. A 22. No, you can't turn it back over to hey, one after Hey, one. Nigel, should we start taking bets on who kills who in this adventure? I will. With my I'm pretty really sure they're both just going to die from like falling or something. No, oh. no, they're going to kill that each or they're just going to die because they fall on their backs and they can't roll over. All four of you make it across. Uh, you notice that the bridge and portcullis, rusty as it may be, have fallen into the interior of the courtyard. To your right, the great tower of Foresight Keep stands about 30 feet uh, up. Uh, missing a few bricks here and there. There's a lot of mossy lichens on there. Doesn't look like it's in real great shape. To your left are three solitary buildings inside a crumbling curtain wall. So you have uh, the tower to investigate, or you have three outbuildings. I want to investigate the outbuildings. Do we know what direction the bell came from? You do not. Oh, we don't. Okay. So it's clear that somebody is here, whether it be a humanoid individual or another individual, somebody that can control these these mud uh, imps. Most likely another wizard of renown like myself. <laughs> or better. <laughs> I've never heard of you better. until now. Well, you walk well right clearly in. you're just not, you know, mingling with the educational circuits, uh, circles. Oh, See, spend you, my you, time you, on, a sh- on my wow, ship. Wow, yeah, wow. They, they, I don't think that classifies it as a library. You know, so. the, I'm looking, I'm always looking for more crew. Capable crew. I don't know if you'd make a very good librarian. Wow. Okay, I'm boys and girls. That tower. I'm going to check out the outhouse. Split, Split the party. Oh, boy. I, uh, no, I'll go wherever. I don't care. As you go around the corner, everybody sees a double door on the right leading into the tower. Uh, Tortuga 1, Dusty, you see uh, on a slant there is a door that you can see in the middle uh, room or the mi- middle building. And you see that the far building uh, is got a crumbled wall allowing you egress. You do not see the entrance to the building closest to you, which is directly across from the tower. So I have uh, Dusty going to an outbuilding one through three. I have uh, Ned going towards the tower. Nigel, where are you going? The treasure's in the tower. I mean... If we split up, we can find shit faster. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nigel will investigate the tower, but he is very uh, skeptical that anything was actually in the tower. He, he's he's starting to believe this is all a ruse. Sure. That's that right. seems sacrifice. And I hang out with Nigel. I go towards the tower too. So three so, of us are going that way. We will start with Dusty Bottoms. Which building do you want? The one where yeah, you can't know. see the door or the broken wall? I'll do building number three. I roll number three. Number seven. Uh, 
as you head out into the courtyard, uh, you notice uh, there is a bell on the far side of this building uh, and a slight breeze is causing the bell to move ever so slightly. I'm going to ring the bell. Ring my bell. Uh, everybody going inside the tower, here's the damn bell going. Uh, same, ba same bell, right? Same bell, same bat channel. We're thinking <laughs> the same thing. Uh, Dusty, as you look in, uh, you see alternating rows of bunks are present inside this building, but they are in exceptionally poor condition as the ceiling has caved down upon them. Some foot lockers can be seen from the opening, but others are covered by debris. Give me a perception check, Dusty. Burn out the 20. No. What kind of rolls are these? I don't know. Uh, where's my perception? Plus, plus two. That is an 18. Uh, there's something scuffling inside there. Mm. I'm going to pick up my and look around. They're mutant rooms. You're going in. Fair enough. Uh, Rosa, Nigel, and uh, Ned. Uh, you've got a double set of doors here on the tower. They look kind of askew, uh, clearly weathered. A little bit of warping going on. What would you like to do? Kick them fuckers open. Give me okay. a strength check, please. Hey, uh, Nigel will move back slightly. Please be really high. 16. Not high enough. You kick the doors off the hinges. They collapse, and a cloud of dust rises. If you would have gone too hard, I would have had your foot go right through it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, up. he likes to do that to people, you that's, know. That's fair. I, well, I almost is... went, ran, and jumped with my shell first through the door. <laughs> so, that would have just awesome. a mid mid jump, just go into your shell. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah the set of double doors were uh, in poor condition but functional, all things considered. Not anymore. <laughs> a long row of stones form a low steps or staircase uh, leading into the structure, so you got to go up a little bit. And several stones have fallen from the top floor and litter the ground outside. Inside, you see a lot of debris, uh, paint, uh, spots of paint still adorn the walls. Uh, the debris is destroyed furniture, bones of some kind, uh, and various stones uh, which have been pockmarked out of the tower. Go ahead, Nigel. Nigel will... Um walk around the beach and um, use his mage, mage hand to poke around, investigating to see if anything is uh, uh, hidden underneath, uh, any interesting rocks that have fallen that have structural like um, uh, designs to it, or if there are any holes or weird uh, um, voids in the floor. And this is inside, correct? Inside. He, he's not going to go with too deep inside. He's just going to kind of step in and use the hand and He'll probably keep like the hand like five to ten feet ahead of him. Sure, fair enough. Uh, inside, you notice it is a flagstone construction, uh, which could mean there's a basement. You aren't certain. Uh, on as you curve around, the center of the tower is where the staircase is, and it spirals up. It does not spiral down. Around the far side of the staircase, there's a large tapestry uh, with a lot of tears in it that still hangs on the wall and seems to be embroidered in gold thread. Uh, it appears to involve an image with a stag hunt. Is it any good? You I would like go to go investigate it and see if I can understand the significance or if there's any like um, insignias, uh, if this correlates to any particular event in history or importance to this to this uh, uh, ruined tower. Sure, fair enough. Uh, Ned, are you going to join him? I'm going to stay in a doorway. So I keep an eye on Idiot. Cool beans. Uh, idiot is going to be slightly out of your hey. view once he walks in. You don't know. You might have been talking about Nigel. Yeah. About Nigel. How do you know? Nigel's <laughs> not because we all know Nigel's not an idiot. Nigel is, and oh yeah, he's an idiot, but he's he, not. He an thought idiot. it was fine to cross the <laughs> moat. Uh, Nigel and Rosa, That's you true. go Why? over. It was fine. Start to fiddle Don't with the it. tapestry. Uh, Tortuga one, Dusty, uh, you hear a low growl and you can roll initiative. 
Way to start it up, Dusty Bottom. That's what I'm talking about. Six. I, I got a four. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, you got a big wolf there, Dusty. I'm going dire yeah, wolf. But- how big? Like, yeah, maybe di- maybe direish. <laughs> direish is like uh, oh. Serena times two. So like about this big. It's like about 300 pounds. It's like Hagrid's do- uh, dog. I Makes a great dog. dame look like a puppy. Okay. He's not a Harry Potter. It's a big ass dog. Uh, cool. It's not a normal I, size dog. I know that. Then roll your dice and hit the son of a bitch. Just What's go into on? your shell and become a chew toy. No, I've got <laughs> this. That's a sick, yeah, it's that's one of sick. those games that see how smart a, the dog is. I am not a doggy chew toy. I don't. I don't even just go. He sucks. Is what he's saying. His <laughs> dice roll are back. The dire wolf uh, takes a snap at him. Did he roll a one? No, he rolled. Ooh. A two. I rolled a two. Right. You and the dire wolf are locked in mortal combat. Nigel and Rosa, <laughs> you go over and you're looking at this tapestry. Nigel. Hmm. I'm moving with the hand, and and I'm studying it. This would appear to be some kind of significance of something. Otherwise, why would you not use gold embroidery? Uh, You use the mage hand to move it, and everybody's seen the entrance to Scooby-Doo when all the bats come out. Uh, Initiative Rosa and Nigel. (laughs) What? Wait, we what? Bats are colonizing behind the tapestry. Oh, okay. So I rolled an 18 plus 6 is 24. Nigel? Not 20, so 22. Nigel goes first. Uh, Ned, go ahead and roll for initiative for me. <clears throat> We're being attacked by bats? Yep, oh, colony bats. 21. <laughs> 21. Okay, we'll start with the uh, nat 20. Nigel, uh, the colony of bats comes out flapping. Uh, you can hear the goonies yelling rabies. What do you want to do? <laughs> Is it a vampire? Not yet. Or is it Batman? <laughs> Nigel's going to turn into Batman because they're circling around him and raising him up off the ground. I've seen the movies. That's how it works. I'm Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nigel. <laughs> See <after> me. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead, um, Nigel. Uh, I want to do that. Sure. Why not? Level two magic missile. Sure. Hit All it. Right. Hit it and quit it. Come on. Get out of the way. You don't have an A or No, this is the closest I got. So two for the first one. Two for the second one. Damn it. Wow. Are you two for the third one? <laughs> ah, five for the fourth one. Uh, so that's it. two, two, two. Yeah. Um all yeah. different bats. Eleven. We'll go with the. 20. It's a group. I'm assuming each. I'm assuming they're all taking out different bats because I'm assuming each bat is like one hit point scores or something. Yeah. Uh, Rosa, ah! twenty four. You're up. Yeah, Nigel screams. Um, Yee! it's not like a girly scream because he's a rock gnome, so he just can't. Get, he can't get that high pitch. It's a girly scream. Yeah, but it, it's 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 a it's like a wussy scream. Ah! Oh, ah, there you go, Rosa. As he as he squirts out the uh, magic missiles. I put myself between Nigel and the bats, and I'm gonna try taking a couple out. Uh, Are you getting? I don't. I don't know actually. No, <laughs> for him it's. <laughs> I somehow don't think sneak works in this case because they're within five feet. It's. it's Trust me, I thought of using invisibility. <laughs> I'm just running. Jesus Christ, we're terrible. Not great rolls, but all right. The first attack is. A 13. Well, to hit him. Oh, I make it. So I that's a 13 that. on the first one and and higher on the second one. Okay. Um, all right. So as I said, I'm pretty sure I don't get sneak attack for this. Correct. I mean, nobody else in melee and they're within five feet of each other. Let's see. So it's 1d8 plus three and 1d6 plus three. Yep. All right, so I'll give the damage separately because they probably ran multiple targets. So that's five on the first and uh, six on the second. Eleven. Okay. Are you doing this as a swarm? So we are taking the down little by little. So it'd be eleven, yeah. Yep. Now it looks like this. 
Uh, Tortuga 2, Ned, uh, you heard a noise outside where your brother has gone. You see baths filling the air in here. What do you want to do? Eldridge Blast. On the bats? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Please be a one. No, it's not a one. It's like over 20, so I'm taking that hit. Boom! I dice. So. <laughs> well, you got your one. It's just on damage. So. <laughs> nice. I did, uh, yeah, one point of damage. Wow. Uh, out in the barracks, uh, Dusty, your turn. You beat me. Come on, Hacksaw Jim Deacon. What the what? Well, what is it? It's plus six, right? Yeah. So that's 15. That hits. Roll again. Might as well roll your second shot. That would be, uh, that, no, that's, that was nine. You suck. Nine, nine plus? Nine. No, that was just straight nine with his plus. He rolled okay. three. So roll to hit. Eight plus what? Four? Twelve. Twelve points. That's not bad. Uh, back in the tower, it's the bat's turn. Uh, I think I only get one attack. Thank you. Uh, yes, I only get one attack. So uh, I will see who I swarm. Two, Nigel. Seven plus... Four eleven. Okay, Nigel, they're swarming all over you. Go ahead and. Uh, I'm, take I'm like screaming bloody death because yeah, I'm actually it, close to death. It looks like this. <laughs> the, swarm, <laughs> the, the swarm is really. Uh, worn down. I'm going to cast um, Mind Sliver again. So uh, DC 14 intelligence save. Oh, minus four. No, not even close. <laughs> so five points of damage, psychic. Nice. The bats are done. And I just, I literally just fall on the ground, like, ah, ah, ah. Are you okay? You no. roll around in bat guano. You're welcome. He's having an asthma <laughs> Oh my God, you can't cast fireball yet, though, can you? Um, Look at all the spell components. I'm going to take a dramatic moment to fiddle in my pouch and take out a. Uh, creating <laughs> mage angels. <laughs> hey, Ray, uh, like me this is my dramatic moment where I become uh, uh, where I become a uh, wizard man. <laughs> uh, take out a healing potion. Like <laughs> uh, it is extra healing, so you can take both doses for two d eight plus four, or one dose for one d eight plus two. What do you mean extra healing? We got plus two it's uh, like a double potion. Take two more. Oh, because I just bought normal potions. Well, the, the, these were what you found. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll take it because I'm down to only three hit points. <laughs> sure. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, that was a big hit for me. 2d8 plus four, no ones. I, I tried to protect Nine you. plus four, you said? Yes. All right, so that'll be 13. Yeah, no one. Uh, out in the barracks, uh, go ahead there, Hoss. Not quite full. I'm almost there. In the barracks. Almost. Like, <laughs> you're fighting that rat. Plus what? Six, 16. No, it's a nine. So it's 15. You hit. 15. Roll again. Second, you got two attacks. Do them both. That's, a, That's hit. a hit. All right. Now roll damage. That's die 10. You want to roll oh. die eight? Sorry. Uh, die. Nah, go for the extra points. Yeah, yeah might as well. <laughs> Roll it again. So that is 12. Add what is it, another 8 to your 12. Mm -hmm. 20 so 20. 32 hit points of damage. Uh, it goes for the snap. With a 3. Uh, so no. Uh, Nigel, Rosa, and Ned, uh, you notice that they're doesn't appear to be anything behind the tapestry now. Uh, clearly, the bat guano uh, We're gonna tell you. is not going to enhance itself. From this position, Rosa and Nigel, you can look around the other side of the staircase and you notice that there is another room. 
So this particular section of the rounded tower is about two thirds. So the other third is unexplored. All right, or I will head that up. way. What? Or Sorry, the what? staircase up. I kind of want to go up. I want to go gonna, up. That's where the yeah. treasure is. I want Nigel's go going to take a moment to like collect himself. You know, reflect on his moment of near death. While Nigel collects <laughs> his moment, and she's telling Nigel where she wants to go or where he can go, I'm going to go collect up the moron in the other room and bring him back. No, I'm not done. There's another building. Okay. It's in another building. He's and I'm going to spend some time room. collecting all the bad guano because that's treasure. I could be sold. Mm, yeah. White fat guano. Fireball. Um, that's like <laughs> sold for money. That's one of the very few components. And I use my uh, mage hand to scoop it. And... Uh -huh, that's Put that's a much better pack. choice. Yeah. Uh, Ned, you're going to be at the end of this round. Go ahead, Dusty. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I'm not there yet. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> Throws his weapon behind the dog. Uh, oh, no. He's number one in my book. Mm -hmm. 17. Uh, this one, this bite's going to hit, and it's yes, going to no. hurt. Oh, robo dice. Boom! Nine hit points of damage, baby. Uh, it is locked in uh, as Ned turns the corner to figure out what it is. He's watching the police canine training video where the dog is <laughs> on his arm. Uh, he wants if, turtle soup. If you're going to hit him, don't hit him real well. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm striking. For everything or, I got. Yeah, whatever I get a hold of. Eldritch Blast. 18 plus uh, 5, so 23. Uh, give me your damage and then roll D4. Sure. The D4 is for him. <laughs> damage, I did 4 points of damage and 2 on a D4. Uh, Dusty, you get 2 hit points. How? And the dog is still alive, so Dusty... Uh, I'll say that Ned's strike loosened it for you. Go ahead. I'm going to strike and no, use the claw. I have my other hand with the claws. Sure. Well, you have two strikes still. Exactly. You threw one weapon away. I know. It's uh, 19. That'll hit. And, and 18. 18. So roll your... Probably going to finish it. Weapon first. Die 8, not die 10. No. Okay. Eight. So that's twelve points. Now roll your claw, which is die four. Plus four. Yeah. And that's another seven. So that thing points. is it is dead. Uh it arfs in pain and then falls. Uh bad news. Let's see where that weapon went. Go oh, ahead no. and D twelve against me there, Hoss. Well, now's the time to roll a twelve. Ah! He rolled a 10. 11. Uh, you, you see your weapon. It is stuck inside a footlocker. So if you pull it free, uh, you will be the king of the footlocker. And you'll have to wear that black and white striped shirt and carry a whistle. So do you want to pull the blade out? Yes, I will. I'll pull the blade from the board. You hear the clinking of glass. Oh, no. No, no. Do you want to open the footlocker? I will open it, but like, does it, does it open like this? It, it's a standard trunk. Then I will open it and like, wouldn't it like this and stay behind it? Oh, it's it's fine. Trust me, it's fine. That's not what the suck is on this. Uh, okay, you you have successfully think, done it. Nothing jumps out. I think I know what's going on here. If I open it, then I'm going to close. Okay, it's closed. Cool. Then I'm going to grab my weapon. Okay. This is what's happening. Sure. What are you doing now? I'm pulling it out. I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out. Right. You got your blade back. 
cool. I'm going to step away and say, open that mix. I think it's golden there. Let's see you. Okay. I Eldridge blast it from the door. <laughs> well, it's the shit's probably already broken anyway. So Papers why not? fly all over the place, as well as a broken potion bottle. It <laughs> says super healing on it. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, only because it was broken, it probably was just. It, 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 I, I was shocked I was able to read the bottle. I figured it was shattered. Well, it, it was spelled S U P R. <laughs> Super and a, a red medic sign uh, inside <laughs> the tower. Nigel and Rosa, uh, you can go around and explore the other one third. Or yeah, do I, feel you like, know? I feel like you've been hurt or something. Like was, some, some type of papers or or documentary or books have been uh, injured. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, we get like a liquid. Get okay. Yeah, um, they're all wet. <laughs> I want we to go will uh, take the I'll... take the tapestry. It's worth yeah. money. Yeah, we will take the tapestry. It smells like bat shite. Sure, hey, wait, it can be you, washed. Do you have press press digitation? I don't have it memorized. Oh, okay, yeah. fine. We take it anyways. And then I, you know what? The treasure is supposedly up there. Why don't we just go? It or doesn't look safe. It is nine oh seven, so you know they're fine, 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 not, fine, fine. We'll go not, upstairs. It's not quarter of ten though. All so right, all right. We'll go upstairs. Fine. Let's go upstairs. Go to the second floor. Uh, Tortuga Brothers, after dicking around with the broken <laughs> potion bottle and blasting through all of the diary that would have given you an idea, uh, where do you want to go next? <laughs> I'll open the, can we just raid? What <coughs> footlocker? I blew the footlocker right, up. I blew up the footlocker. It said, let's go. We got to get to the tower. But there's two other buildings. And I've it's 907. We got to get to the tower. <laughs> <There's four buildings. laughs> Fine. Go to the I'm going to go outside and strike, strike the bell nine times. <clears throat> you Somewhere you hear an Arby's employee. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you hit it nine times. Uh, Nigel and Rosa. Some jackass keeps ringing a bell in here. Probably a ghost or soon to be a ghost. Uh, the Tortuga <laughs> Brothers, you wander back into the tower. Damn it. We didn't get, we didn't get the treasure before they, while they before they get back, you know, you're pretty sure you left those two in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> there is a set of stairs, and there's also like an alcove on the other side of the stairs. I'm gonna I'm, check the alcove. I'm looking for these two. I sure. wouldn't think they'd venture on upstairs. Oh, oh no, wait, 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 wait! Hey, dungeon master, I'm not really being particularly quiet. Can't they hear the frigging four? Crew? You're a rogue. You're always quiet. You're always stealthy. How about shit. you? How about you? Me, on the other hand, I am probably speaking incessantly about the structure of this building, uh, how it's uh, <laughs> I mean, very ill-maintained, and how they should've could have made a better, better improvements upon the arch- about, uh, the carpentry. The two characters uh, you're talking about are not quiet people. They're probably yeah. arguing the whole time. These these walking. two have been arguing the whole time. So, <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> fine. If they're not, they can't hear us, that's fine. But we went upstairs. To I was going to say, you could, we could just but take I a rock to, down. I would huh? argue with him that, yes, we should not have been looking for the other stuff. we got to keep finding it. We're just going to argue back and forth. And my first okay, uh, is, I'm just going to take one of the pebbles. Yeah, I'm going to take one of the pebbles and just drop it on them. Hey, up here, derps. Uh, as the Tortuga Brothers go around around the corner, you guys spot uh, a trap door in the floor partially covered with debris, and then somebody's pooping on you with rocks. Huh, that's open the door. (laughs) Was that in the alcove? That is in the alcove. (laughs) So wait, we can see them then? Yeah, there's a lot of holes in this structurally deficient thing. All right, well, hey, you know, they're just they're going to check that first. Or two of the brothers, there's ghosts upstairs. You can hear them talking now. Oh, he's ah. so trying to set us up to attack. <laughs> I say set it on fire. <laughs> I do have a spell. I do have oh, a spell. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. Yeah, but you know, are you that dumb? How tall are the ceilings? Are they about 30 feet? Uh, No, they're about oh. 12. Ah, oh, good, because I can throw my Yakoa. It's also a throwable weapon. And it's just, yeah, it also is a throwable weapon. Nigel, you're looking down and you're seeing him. So if you want to step back, he can throw away his weapon again. How far are we up? (laughs) Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Can I catch it? Uh, Very well. (laughs) I will cast my mage hand and make it in front of them. And then it's like a middle finger. 
And then it's like, then it points up. <laughs> the Tortuga brothers notice an apparition with a profane approach you know, he's to you. Playing this, this on, <laughs> he is trying to just to go. To go. Well, you know. Well, do what I'm, your character's going to do. No, don't do what your character's going to do. <laughs> Ignore what the GM. The GM doesn't control your character. So, Tortuga no. brothers, uh, there's a trap door here, partially covered by debris. One of you got hit in the head with a stone, and now there's a ghostly figure <laughs> doing this. That weapon comes up up here. I'm keeping it. So, or one of us are. Okay. Suggest now he's changing. Hey, so, to set the stage, Nigel, you go? Nigel and Rosa, you guys went up, We're up the here, rounded. So you were on the back side, and this room is half of the tower. You have now replied to the Tortuga brothers. Uh, as you look up, uh, Rosa, are you wearing a dress? No. Okay, good news. <laughs> Come on. So there's two people. Highly there. impractical. <laughs> oh, Technically, on. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing a robe, say, so it's like a dress. Are you, wear, are you wearing a robe? Oh, he can't. Yes. Are you Scottish? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Aww. I look up and scream. There appears to be a snuffle up against <laughs> there. <laughs> it's like a, you're like a freaking tripod. <laughs> <laughs> I want to scream up. Hey, you guys, you guys missed the. Uh, there's a the trap door going <gasps> down here. And why? Uh, but, but she was insisting about going upstairs. The treasure is upstairs. They said She's it was delusional. No, what the story the, is the treasure's yeah. at the top of the He tower. also told us it was 20 miles away. What if yeah. Well, that is true. Tower? I don't think I ever mentioned mileage. <laughs> yes, you did. You said it's 20 miles that way. No, you said, uh -huh. you said it was 20 longitude. We'll have to like, oh, go did. back he, he and listen. I thought that was feet. <laughs> In my defense, I'm not a carpenter. so don't make, <laughs> That's don't not make carpentry. Closer. Oh uh, yeah, you want me to make you a table let's with those measurements? Upstairs. That's navigation. Let's let's go upstairs. Okay, you guys uh, go upstairs you know, we'll, and you meet we'll these. We'll put a ton of weight on these fragile stairs and keep going. Up. I keep going until I find something interesting upstairs. Okay, on tower floor two, a uh, spiral yeah, read staircase resides in the now. center of the tower and extends all the way to the top. Stone abutments are home to thick oaken timbers. Uh, your climb to the second level is greeted with thick strands of spider webs oh. as, as you move apart easily. Uh, no giant spiders here. You oh, reach good. The opening, uh, which is where you are at, <laughs> where you have seen. Don't worry, I was going to pull out the <clears throat> Nice. Uh, as the Tortuga brothers are arriving on the second floor, uh, the investigation by Nigel and Rosa discover a single wooden door around to the left, leading into the front section of the tower. I look at Rosa and say, you should investigate the door. I if I know. were a resident or a wizard of this place, I would certainly place a safety precaution upon the door. <clears throat> I will go the check out open the, the door. The door. You I'm guys are behind us, so I'm going to go. You guys are behind me, first of all. We're arguing uh, about who's going to open the door. Oh, first. all right. That's fair. That's fair. I'm going to check the door, though. So what's that? Perception? I went, I'm opening the door. Two out of three. I rolled terribly anyway, anyway so it's only a six. Should we just let the... <sighs> I'm gonna open the door while oh, I'm doing I that. You. that I don't. I open the door while we're doing the thing. Give me. I'm a, opening the door. I want. <laughs> give, give me a, a strength what? check. Oh God. While you guys are doing <laughs> this, she's opening the door. I'm gonna try because you said make a strength check. I don't think strength is my. Uh, Chow, no, actually, I do have strength. Uh, that's a thirteen. Uh, not enough strength. Okay, oh, there, Dusty that's a Bottoms. Bad roll. I'm opening the door. I'm going to kick it open. Uh, Go uh, ahead and roll. Is this a mid fail school for the gifted moment? Where Personally, I just find it, it amusing as the turtles kick it open with their short, stubby legs. But they're wrong and claws. powerful. Short, stubby legs. Yeah, 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 sir. God, you suck so bad, number seven. He rolled a seven. He, wrote, uh, he fell down on his back. I much it. have got him. He's apparently stronger <laughs> than he is. You uh, size it up and smash 
into the stone abutment on the door, <laughs> not the door. Uh, anybody else want to try and open this door? I will. Uh, I, you know what? I will literally just go up and try to open it. Funny, dirty. I'm not. Uh, I did try to open it. it yeah, it was wedged. Oh, uh, okay. Dirty twenty throws it open. Uh, inside this area. Oh, that's right. Uh, entering the backside room of the tower will reveal a once plush bedroom. Uh, the center of the room has a skeleton hanging from a noose looped over a chandelier ring. Uh, the rotting clothing indicates the body has been present for quite a while, and the skeletal face is partially obscured with flowing red hair. Heavy leather boots are askew on the floor and clearly fell off the individual's feet. Sex games are bad for you. Look at this one. <laughs> this was uh, David Carradine's sister. <laughs> oh, that's not right, man. Uh, I, I don't think David Carradine's watching this. Oh, still too soon. <laughs> not right. Uh, I want to go. I think I want to cut cut her down. Nah, just leave her there. That looks. That looks hmm. I. Your chest. Is, I not you know, as, as if a blood hunter, you know. The undead, like so. I'll. I'd like to take care of this. Take care of shit out of this thing. I'm going to look around, furniture, bed, things like that, looking for papers, anything of value. You see a diary. Uh, who's, who's who's cutting her down? I'm severing uh, her in half. I was gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the noose off. You're gonna cut. I've been off. Yeah. It's a skeleton, right? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That, okay. No, no, no off. signs of flesh. Just that flowing red mane. I'm okay. severing. It's a banshee. I want to. I'm going to attempt to sever the head after it comes to the floor. Break the collarbone. I'm going to collarbone. Sure. Uh, you know, Rosa, like, give me a performance roll. Let's see how good or bad you do. Performance? You just get the weirdest, weirdest thing here. For... <laughs> I don't know what it is to cut that down, but I don't think it's performance. Uh, well, that's a 19. So I was going to say, why are you complaining? Isn't, doesn't that go into the wheelhouse? Uh, not really. It's not a train skill. This is, uh, yeah, if Ernie's watching, uh, whatever I declare always just pisses him off to no end. That's why I chose perform. I almost did nature just to really screw with you. <laughs> uh, the performance is successful. You do not sever the head when you cut the noose. As it lands, oh, it's an uh, attack Ned goes ape shit on it. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Just entirely monkey. Uh, Nigel, as you're flipping through the diary, this is uh, apparently a Thane's daughter uh, who did not want to be captured and mutilated by the oncoming enemies of the Thane. Uh, give me an arcana check. Ooh. Who do you think, <laughs> Anna? I got 21. Nigel. Now do 12 against me. I couldn't. I didn't hear it. Like D12? Yep, D12 against me. He's summoning the ghost. Could be. That's a eight. That is a seven. Uh, she screwed up because the Thane's troops were actually successful, as your arcana has told you. So her death was useless. Uh, but she was stupid. Jeez. Tortuga brother number two, Ned, give me an investigation check when you sever the head. Investigation? Yep. 16. Uh, something shiny underneath her hair. I'm going to investigate that. She had a hair comb tucked in to her long locks, but it was made out of turtle shell. Oh. Destroy the skeleton. No. Absolutely crushing. I have to take a claim of that. That is <coughs> history ancestry right there. I can't <laughs> that. It's a it's a it's an old it's an old hold relative. Up, it was from a, a box second. turtle. I'll be right back, guys. Let me go. What the <laughs> He's going in a shell. <laughs> All right, I stored that away. We'll take that back to where it needs to go. Did you hide it in your prison wallet? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, keys are good. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, that appears to be uh, all that you can find the diary and the uh, hair piece. Uh, the exterior room that you guys first made it. By the uh, way, nothing under the bed, right? 
Nothing under the bed but okay. dust bunnies. A herd of horrible, dust horrible, vicious dust bunnies. That's right. That they're like the one the from. I was going to say, if they like the one, they like the one from Monty <laughs> Python. Yes. Well, yeah. uh, the earlier room, okay. you aren't sure what it was. Uh, you have no idea what its function was, this but this one was clearly a bedroom. So, was there any way more up into this tower, or was yeah, this just still higher? Yeah, yeah I, can, okay. I want to keep going higher. All right, we'll go up. Uh, as you go up, uh, where you the reach, treasure is. Our... Uh, you reach the top of the stairs and are met with a trap door. Who's going up the stairs first? Rosa. I guess I am. I am. Uh, it's fine. Boss is growing around the cracks, making the seal tight on this. I can break. Uh, it looks like it's going to require a, a hefty bit of force to shoulder this trap door open and presumably lead you to the top of the tower. No, you, hey, you had your chance. I'm going to try it first. I, 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 I get to go first. I, I, I rolled an 18 to sure get that thing open. 18 is well, good enough. Arguing. As you two are arguing, uh, the trap door bursts open. Uh, the light, because it's mid afternoon by now, uh, beams down into it, and fresh air fills. You were day the drinking. Stagnant. Yes, Apparently we were day drinking. Oh, well, you were okay, morning just checking. It, it, it was noon got somewhere. Got it open. Anyway, it's five o'clock somewhere. Breakfast yeah. drinking. They didn't have uh, access to TV or the internet, so, so there wasn't a whole lot to do. So what we were having were mimosas. I get it. Sure, we'll say that. <laughs> or bloody yeah, Marys. Yeah, sure. No, 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 just no, no, no. <laughs> no, bloody Marys. Uh, hi, I'm Rosa. Uh, actually, I was having screwdrivers. Thank you. I prefer orange juice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Screwdriver. That's a good one. No, no. I, Rosa, of course, but she like, well, I don't know a good breakfast drink that has rum. Is this rum and a screwdriver? Rum. It's just well, rum. Just straight up rum. I drink rum. Whiskey. You know, good breakfast. Good breakfast alcohol. <laughs> so, somebody out there watching us thinking, yeah, I'd do that. Rum and coffee, that would work for <laughs> breakfast. Uh, the door wow. cracks open thanks to Rosa's shoulder and a stiff oh. breeze enters the stagnant tower. A quick look around will discover several skeletal remains as well as what appears to be a recently dead individual with recently. no head. See, somebody got it right. Let's All right. Up the right. A raw so, iron item is on the outside rim of the tower. Ah, uh, okay. Fractured. Looks like it may have held an object about that big. Question. Um, this, this, uh, I'm going to go check out the body to see how long dead it's been. About a day. I want to see, actually, day. if I can figure out. What Does it look of, like? Does it look like a, you know, just a clean cut or has it been torn off or something? or Ripped off. Ooh. Ripped off. Rip out oh boy! Like um, uh, shards of flesh. Yeah. Like something um, with a big teethy grin grabbed it. Uh, question: How the heck did this body get up here? Clearly, it didn't uh, go through the trap door. It appears to be dressed similar to Rosa. Do I see any like grappling hooks on the edges? Uh, you see bear claws on its hands. The <laughs> leather strap that. Uh, with the hooks that allow it to climb. What kind of bear claws? Donuts or gloves? Uh, no, <laughs> all, always, always croissants. You're in the south of France today. He, he, he <clears throat> did say that for Austin awesome cream pie. Education. It's the better one. I, I was gonna say, I assume there's Crack like a huge, <clears throat> like there's a big puddle of blood, you know, dried blood underneath it, right? Like right. Or, died or is there a big here. straw mark where somebody drank it? <laughs> Nope, no straw mark. They, Where's they, the, the blood head? is oozed out. The head is not here. What? It's not across uh, the room or well, this is the open turret. This is you're on the top of the tower. A beautiful vista awaits you. Yeah, so, okay. No um, well, clearly, whatever ripped off his head can I, did can it I say, can I while he was up here. Uh yes, and what did you say? Uh Dusty, can Dusty I say I'm up, can I sit on the top and do this? And sure, you can you can sun yourself. Uh, I will take nature check <laughs> from all of us. Anybody looking I'll at the body? It. Okay, fine. Nineteen. That's, I don't have a clue. That's a two on the die. Well, I got the same. It's four. Clearly, it wasn't the back. 
it had to have been maybe maybe there was some giant wolf creature that got up here. The vampire. Uh, Ned and Nigel, you notice from the position of the body and the spray of the blood, uh, it looks like something came up from building number one just across from the tower, and maybe scaled it that way. And <clears throat> um, I'm actually going to look down on the edge then and see if there's any marks. Uh, there are some uh, marks in the lichens, some scratches, if you will. Do they, they look more you. like paw scratches or more like talons? Yeah. They look talons. like talons. And how many talons per set? Four. Okay, so like a paw it's shape. Almost, it, it's almost like it clamped onto the side of the tower and the head was right there. Okay, so wow. so kind of like a paw shape then. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll go with paw. <laughs> okay, paw, 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 paw sounds good paw. to me. I like that. Uh, but clearly, <clears throat> this broken wrought iron thing must have held uh, a gem. bullshit gem the size of a man's head from the drunken commoner that you guys dealt with. Does this look like it was a lighthouse of some sort or some type of beacon house? No, it looks like uh, this was a small keep and this was the main donjon. It only has one tower in this keep and then the three low buildings. I'm low! trying to figure out the purpose of this gem being there. It's a giant eye. So it can look out. Could be a gem of scene. Survey the countryside. Eye of Mordor, perhaps. We can go with one of those. Everybody investigation check. I would like to uh, focus my investigation on the rogue and just loot his body because he's dumb and dead. Sure. 20. Nope. If he only had a brain. Let's see. Yeah, that's only a six. 14 gold pieces to Nigel. I heard 20 by uh, Ned. What's your investigation, Nigel? Uh, my investigation was a 13. Uh, Ned. Yes. That, <clears throat> that, 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 that first building there, that first building on the left, that, that one right there the, with, a hole, the, with a hole in the ceiling. Yeah. There's something shiny down there. Ooh. Hey, y'all. There's something shiny down there in that dark building. I kind of figured it seems like we were being derived. I had the feeling maybe we had to end up there. You're the one who wanted to go upstairs. Well, that's because it's not the look, and the evidence was there. The treasure was. Let's go down and check the the trap door first. You drank the Kool Aid and went where the drunk Uh, old man told us. All right, I'm heading back downstairs. I want to go to that trap door they mentioned. Are we going to check the trap door? Are we just going straight? I want to go. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to check the trap door. I want to go check the friggin' building. We'll get to the building. I want to go find the hole before we go to the shine. I don't want to go. I don't want to check. No, we're checking the ropes. So so I got Nigel and Ned going to check the trap door. I got Rosa wanting to check Uh, out the building with the hole in it. I'm going to check out the building as well. So I have two and two if What's you the party. Want it. <laughs> I, yeah, I was gonna wait, okay, because people were that had their heart well. set. Okay, uh, uh, one Tortuga uh, brothers going outside. You guys go all the way down to the base of the floor, go around the corner, and uh, Ned Niederlander says, "Ta-da, trap door." Uh, I I go to open it, but I stop like, "Wait, a second. Rosa, check the trap door." I, I mean, it's called a trap door. A lot, lot, of, lot of debris on it. Screw uh, it. I, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with them. Three. I'll be with them. I would have gone and kept an eye out, and then oh. I come back and I'll check this. Oh, uh, oh, oh, well, what does it when I make it? Perception? Perception. That's only, that's only a 10. <laughs> okay. It looks fine. All right. I'm going to try to open it. Opens easily. Uh, musty, stinky, musty smell. Uh, you know it. Well, you know what? You I don't know if you notice. Give me a perception check. Probably my dice have been rolling tonight. Uh, I don't know. Shit. Probably. Let's see. That's only a. That's my perception three. That's only a ten. Uh, when you were trying to brush off the debris, some of the debris <laughs> did not move. When you lift the trap door, some of the debris remains on the trap door. What is it? 
Is it metal or is it wood, like a magnet? wood chips stuff? It's almost as if somebody made it to look like it was covered in debris. Oh, like, yeah, like they were hiding it. Dusty, are you going out to the Great Hall or uh, elsewhere? Wait, I'm going to the building. You're going where? Building. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so Rosa, Nigel, and Ned. Uh, that seems weird. Night spell. They were hiding. Uh, illumination hiding. bursts forth, and you see it's a straight stairwell down into uh, the darkness, except for the light spell. Uh, at the base, uh, it looks like there's a door on your left and a door on your right, and uh, maybe a door straight ahead. Maybe. You aren't sure. <clears throat> you should go get your brother. Yeah, Bring I him know. back here. Are you guys going to stay here or are you going down in the hole? We're going to stay here. All right. I'm going to run and grab dumbass. Uh, dumbass, uh, give me a perception check first. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you don't see shit. Why no, I do I see uh, you, you, you walk outside the smash double doors. Uh, big building here. Uh, you don't really see an entrance. Oh, uh, there's the doorway right there. Uh, piece of cake, part of the wall's uh, broken down. Uh, and you see with the sunlight beaming in at that proper angle, oh, there, there's something right there that is shiny. And then you hear... Uh, uh, and then you also hear uh, your brother, hey, dumbass. Uh, I can't see that word that he just said. So wait, did we just go underneath? You two are still at the trap door waiting for the Tortuga brothers to return. Hey, I found something and hear something. And the hearing something does not sound nice. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, we're getting ready to go down inside this thing. What are you well, doing? It's the shiny thing. It looks shiny. I can check it out. We'll get it when we come out. Well, it is, it is nine thirty. Yeah, I didn't hear the bell ring for the half. The best place to watch. Let me ring the bell. Real quick. Now well, the bell, the bell's at the far side. Ah, fine. I'll yell, ding. Okay. Is that good enough? Do you believe me now? No, what? What? Dirty. What? Now I'm going to grab the shiny thing and say, "Watch." And grab. It. Oh, so you're ignoring me and going in the building? Yes. You heard the man. Okay, uh, you go in and uh, apparently the ceiling rafters have caved in. There's a lot of uh, jagged debris in there, a lot of rafters, a lot of stones sticking out. But nestled inside one of the creases of this rafter uh, is a necklace. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's just kind of hanging there. I'd like to grab it. Well, first you're going to have to make the climb, so give me an acrobatics check. That's 15. 15's good enough. You gingerly, even with your large turtle shell, uh, climb this pile of debris and notice that the green copper of this amulet is rather nice. Uh, as you turn to one side, you see this tarp rise and fall. Uh, the motion of it is consistent with the uh, what you determine to be an exhale. I would like to first. Did I already grab the necklace? I assume so. Yeah. Okay. It is a cameo necklace uh, wrapped in green copper now. Then I will now put it on. Hopefully it's not. Sure, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to go investigate the tarp? Sure. If there's any like long sticks, I'd like to move the tarp. Well, there's a lot of debris like, in here. Yeah, I'd like to get a stick and move the tarp. Sure. Uh, Nigel and Rosa, I, what, Jesus Christ, what's Let's taking just these go. guys no, so long? You know what? No, what? I just want to go. Go down? Yeah. I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, it, it, we don't know what's down there. there. There could be things down there that would, that would bite my head off. It's taking forever, though. <sighs> Fine. And I'll, let's go find out what's going on with them. <laughs> For all we know, they're on their backs like, Hey, bass, we can't get up with potatoes. 
True. <laughs> My God. All right, let's go. I, I wish people would make up their mind. Which way they want to go? I mean, I want well, to I've go made up there. my mind very consistently here. <laughs> are, are we going? Are we staying? Are I we mean, going? it's are we like staying? Angel over here. All right. Uh, so gonna I'm going to go. Now I'm, we're doing that. I'm assuming Rosa will follow. Oh, God. I know. I'm Rosa's And we're going to complain the whole way. Fucking annoyed because you people all said, well, we want to do the trap door. And now you're all over in the freaking place. I want to go in the first place. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh, to our brother, <laughs> uh, Ned, uh, you can hear him banging around and scraping noises. Do you want to take a peek in and see what the hell he's doing? Yeah, I'm going to scream. What are you doing, dumbass? As loud as I can. I'm going to go, ah, and drop the stick on the park. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, apparently, he's fishing without a line. Some tarp is over there in the middle of this, what appears to be a great hall. Uh, you don't hear shit. So I, I'm just I, yelling at him because he's not listening and running off on his own again. Rosa and Nigel, as uh, you exit the tower, you can hear the Tortuga brothers arguing vehemently, oh, but you God. only see one of them. And then you hear a shriek. I'm going run it. You know what? Let's everybody just roll initiative for fun, shall we? <laughs> Frankie, roll the initiative. Hey, that was pretty good. 13. 13. 21. 15. You should roll it. No, that's. Uh, what's my bonus on that? <laughs> 22. Oh. Uh, as you hear, Ned, hey, dumbass, what are you doing? Jesus Christ, hurry up, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you everybody hears a shriek coming from inside. It's clearly Tortuga Brother number one, Dusty Bottoms. Uh, Rosa picks up her pace. Nigel, being I'm assuming wizardly cautious, uh, canters slowly behind. I'm also in, slower, so inside the building, <laughs> I got there, stubbies. <laughs> yeah, Dusty, yeah, the tarp moves away, and the glowing black eyes of a creature covered in blue scales rises up as the tarp begins to fall off its draconian face. Oh, uh, let's see crying. if it's going to bite you or breathe on you. Like it to breathe? It's going to bite. It's draconian, you say? Uh, yes, a draconian. Uh oh. Um, <laughs> oh. That's a twenty. <laughs> that is a. I always natural. wanted to be a lonely, only child. That's you're about to be a uh, orphan again. <laughs> uh, that bite's gonna hurt. That's I'm assuming a natural thing. twenty does hit you, correct? No, it doesn't. Uh, okay. Uh, I was gonna say I could shrink myself. Oh shit! I forgot it does All that. Right, good enough. Uh, uh, even shrinking in your shell, you're not going to defeat a natural. Child. Ouch! Uh, you are going to suffer 15 hit points uh, if it matters. <laughs> Five of them one are lightning. Left. Ten uh, is piercing. No <laughs> bastard. Uh, I will now proceed to run away. This is why you don't split the party, folks. Are, are, are you going to give me uh, an opportunity attack? <laughs> Uh, well, I, have the, I have the shell on my back. So for, first off, it. the 21. Uh, Rosa, as you run around the corner past uh, Ned Niedermeyer. Ned, what is it? <laughs> Niederlander. 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 Do I get to, do I get, do I, with my 30 feet of movement, do I get there? Can I attack? Sure. As you uh, 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 round the corner and look in, you see Oh, <laughs> this blue <laughs> dragon, not a huge one, uh, just latch oh, on to the portal shit. and spit him out. Uh, huh, that headless thing up top of the tower is starting to make a lot more sense. Uh, so if you <laughs> want to charge in and attack, go ahead. I'm going to do that. Sure. All right, so since it's one move, I can make my two attacks. And, and since he's already engaged... Well, no, he, he is, he is, he has attacked somebody. Nobody has attacked him yet. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he's grappled. Well, all right, fine. He's not grappled. He, he just got bit. And well, here we go again, because the 15 and plus whatever, 20, not a dirty 20, I'm sure it's, but the net one. 
Oh! Well, now there's no talking to it. Uh, we're going to go odd. You throw your weapon, or even you probably kill the Tortuga brother. Oh, please. It won't take much. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't you do three? Why am I not hitting myself? Because I'm he's a mean GM. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, no. I, you, know, you know what? It's... You want to be involved? One, two, throw your weapon. Three, four, right. hit you. Five, six, hit the Tortuga brother. I he like made it. a promise yesterday that uh, Noodle was going to die. That's true. And uh, I didn't anticipate this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My fucking dice have sucked all night. So what do you want? But I did hit him. And it's on the first blow. Oh, that's right. It's not, it's uh, nobody gives a shit about you hitting the dragon. We want to know Fuck who killed that. the Tortuga brother. I, I'm going to, I want my dice. For, I want to roll my um, freaking dice. Quick question. Gonna... Is she getting a sneak attack? No. She's not from... getting a sneak attack yet. Oh, because he's Cause not threatening? He's attacked it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, technically he hasn't. No. So uh, that that is still. Uh... He's Frank, you are mean. He is. He's at eight <laughs> points. Of, how many eight, times do you face off with the dragon? Eight points of damage to that fucking dragon, okay? Yeah, nobody cares. What'd you do? Did you hit the Tortuga brother? Oh, I thought you were rolling the die. So wait, no, was I'll it let D6? You. Oh, D6? no, you got to roll the pain and suffering. I rolled a three. What was that? That's you. Okay, that's me. Thank All God. Right. <laughs> the D6. Over to the trap door. Little Frank, right. the dice hey, giveth and the hey, dice hey, taketh hey. away. Hey, I only would I would have just dropped you. you would, well, you'd be at zero because it's only one point is halved. Only, oh Still. wait, no, plus my strength. No, plus my strength. <laughs> more. So that's two points. There you go. To uh, myself. All right. Well, at least the weapon didn't go anywhere. Next up is the fifteen, <laughs> Nigel. As uh, you round the corner as well on your short stubby legs. <sighs> Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, do something. Um, now, this is actually a dragon. It's got wings and uh, and whatnot. Okay. It's a, it's oh, a blue oh, dragon. oh, 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 phantasmal force. <laughs> Get him. Uh, so, a int save of 14. Uh, 14 it is because 13 plus 1. Damn it. Of course. Frank knows magical rolls. I swear to God. That, hey, hey, if it, if and I up, round the corner, getting out of sight. <laughs> uh, no, you used all your movement to get around and phantasmal what? force him. What? Yeah, uh, you were on the yard with me. So the good news is, only two of you can be in a straight line until, of course, uh, the Tortuga brothers here attack. And let's see what they want to do. You know what? I think you guys should bunch up. And do a straight line. <laughs> We're gonna play conga with the with the dragon. Oh, right. uh, and in draconian, we say, "Oh crap!" <laughs> oh, now there's only one target. Uh, Tortuga Brothers with the thirteen. Uh, Tortuga Brother one, Dusty. Are you turning tail and hauling ass? Oh yeah, I will speak to Magic Man and tell him to heal this area, not here or here, but right. Here. Pretty much here is where your damage is. <laughs> Pretty much right over here is where I hurt. So and, and you know what? With that much damage, I'm, I'm thinking you're going to have dimples. I don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait a second. Ma- wait a second. Depends wait a if second. he's magically My healed. Thing, he says, I don't take narcotic damage. You're oh, missing. It's, it's nothing that has to do with the, about narcotic damage. He ate your face. I don't care. No narcotic. <laughs> So you're just going to run, then, I take it. Yes, and I'm going to tell Mr. Magic to heal this. You know what? Gee. Take off, but roll a d20, because if you roll a 1, you're going to just body check somebody like a Canuck. <laughs> oh, so it's only a 6. <laughs> uh, he speeds by and button hooks around the corner. Uh, Tortuga Brother 2, Ned, what do you want to do? I'm raging in to defend my brother's honor. Not well, long, means. I, you said you only be at one of them. After oh, I, uh, I'm going to make sure I cast my uh, <coughs> fiend bright focus on uh, my weapon, which causes it to be a blade of fire. Sure. Good thing it's not a red. <laughs> Could have been kind of useless. So I'm just going to do a battle axe attack. As useless as your brother. <laughs> Shut up! That's a hit. That's 
Yeah. Nine points of damage plus four points of fire damage. Got it. Uh, round two. Uh, bite or breathe? That's right. It's going to ah, bite. Uh, one of you is out of range, Nigel. One of you is behind a wall, uh, Dusty. Uh, Odd Rosa, even uh, the Tortuga. That's a six. Tortuga, here comes the bite. 14 plus 5, 19. Oh, spot on. 10 and 6. Whew. Seven and four, 11. The four hit points is from electrical, if for some reason you're immune. Uh, it's but electric. 11 total. Wiggy, wiggy, wiggy. Still up? Yes. <laughs> uh, we, Rooney, though. we go with uh, Rosa. Rosa, you are now engaged. It has yep. bit the Tortuga brother. You will get your sneak attack. Oh, yes. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's an 18 on the first hit and a, let's see, does 14 hit? Uh, 14 does not hit. All right. 17 so, to hit the but, draconian. But what is my sneak That's the first attack, so that's my sneak attack. My sneak attack is 2d6 and my weapon is a d8. I think that's it. Okay. Not awesome, but okay. Well, that's six on the die plus four, so it's ten plus three is thirteen. Good enough. Uh, next up, fifteen. Nigel, uh, all health breaking loose. <laughs> so, as a bonus action, the first thing I do is summon magical quill, have my book open up, and say, "Record my epic exploit about fighting this vicious creature." Yes. Make sure you make me look spectacular. <laughs> and then I'm going to cast Magic Missile, which I've already rolled. So 12 force damage. Nice. And then as I retreat around the corner, I, I, lo I look at the book and say, make sure you say I heroically retreated and not hide. <laughs> Magically, heroically retweeted. Retweeted? <laughs> you retweeted? Retweeted. Twitter's a thing in this? Apparently. For wizards. Uh, uh, Tortuga Brothers, you're up. It's called Sending Spell. That's right. <laughs> All right I don't, I don't know what have, you're going to do. I don't have anything to heal myself. So. Nope. Uh, well, who had the healing potions? I already gave him one of mine. I have the other one. He has to come back in and get it. Uh, I'm not. I'm going to hide and for now. He, he just becomes a clump of turtles. So the individual that started this mess yep, yep, is he hiding. Did. Okay, that's fair. Ned, what are you going to do? He's about to die, so I guess that's fair. All right, big brother's here. I'm older, and I'll pop out of my shell and get back in there. What do you want to do, Ned? You're in there with Rosa. I keep forgetting my name is Ned. <laughs> Robert, what do you want to do? <laughs> I, did, I did it all day yesterday, too. I think David oh, wow. did this. Yeah, no, that's right. It was you yesterday. It was just... Like, who are you talking about? <laughs> Robert. Uh, I'm attacking. Sure. You're I so fumbled. Oh, no. See, this is how it feels. See how it feels? This is how it feels. You know how it feels? So, At least I hit myself. I mean, my God. One, two, Rosa. Three, four, you. Five, six. Go ahead, Frankie. You're going to really give it, let him put it in his hands, huh? You hit yourself. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't think he has that many hit points left, though. Uh-oh. So do your damage and have it. Fortunately, fortunately, being a swashbuckle, I don't have to have him next to me to have sneak attack damage. So is this the end <laughs> of your damage now? Is this the end of the Tortuga Brothers? You're not damaged? I'm half damaged. Half. Oh, okay. I dropped you half my hit points. He's bloodied. Round three. <laughs> right. Bringing that back. Bloodied. Yep. <laughs> We're <laughs> breathing. <laughs> oh, shit. So Rosa, one. Uh, Ned, 
two. Yeah, there's no line, really. Wall, Nigel, and Tortuga. Three, Ceiling, Rosa, Tortuga, and Dragon. Oh, Four. you're fun. I hear my name way too many times. Yeah. Or uh, the dragon howls in pain and tsh, shoots into the ceiling, oh, causing debris to crash down inside, hitting you, Rosa, and Ned, uh, unless, and you'll be able to make a deck save to roll out of the way as the timbers begin to fall and hopefully get half damage. So give me a dex, or I will allow acrobatics. Well, either which way, well, oh, actually, but that's even bad. It's, yeah. well, it doesn't matter. That's a, well, Dacker Bex is 20, 23. Fair enough. Uh, you guys are going to suffer half damage, as am I. Yeah, that's a crap roll anyway. Four damage as debris <laughs> crashes down. Everybody takes two more hit points. Oh, uh, that was four. Nigel and uh, Dusty, uh, <laughs> they're in there destroying the place. No, uh, are. Nigel, or no, wait a minute. Rosa, you are up. All right. Bye, Two Rosa. More attacks. Come on, damn it. Uh, that's a nat 20 on the first one. Ooh, just do your damage because I uh, don't think he's going to survive that okay, one. Okay, so let's see. Um, you double double the sneak attack too, correct? No. Uh, you actually, yes. You're doing Not this tonight. <laughs> okay. That you you would normally, but she's gonna kill it on the two damage rolls is what she's gonna do. Well, we'll it has find six, out. it has six hit points left. Was <laughs> it a wormling? Yes. Oh, I kind yeah. of figured. Oh yeah, because I yeah, because that baby killer. Third the third time the two on the two D eights, that's thirteen right there. there. And then there's the gnome standing outside. Thirteen six. Uh, the gnome is intelligent. 19. <laughs> yeah, nine, nine, 19 on. points of damage to take that friggin' thing down. Everything goes silent inside the room. Uh, the dust oh. begins to settle. Uh, Nigel and uh, Dusty, what do you want to do? I'll come out it's of an my eerie shell. silence. You think your friends are dead. Yeah, I'll come out of my shell and check if he's dead. Then if he's dead, I'll laugh. I'll point and laugh if he is. All right, Nigel? Uh, I'm looking at my book as I look around the corner like, Make sure you get all the good, good details, okay? And I ended it with my own magical prowess. <laughs> uh, my magic see, mystical was a force to, for it to be reckoned with. It couldn't handle the others. Give me intelligence checks, Nigel and Ned. <laughs> or, no, I'm sorry, Nigel and Dusty. <laughs> 13. I rolled low. That's uh, a that's seven. seven. Pretty smart. Uh, Dusty, you notice that the ghosts of Rosa and your brother oh, are just standing there white. <laughs> Ghost, kill him! But you see Rosa starting to remove the dust and debris, <laughs> and you see a little bit of color. Uh, on second thought, maybe they're not ghosts. They're covered in paint! Kill him! <laughs> Oh, no, no, it's fine. They're already dead from all the asbestos they just uh, inhaled. Uh, De Deary, <laughs> you, can, you can try, but I don't think you're going to end up very well in this fight. The, uh, yeah, go ahead. Come yeah, you got one hit point. How, wow. how many hit points do we have? Oh, yeah, you have like one. I have um 17. Uh, right. it's Blue Dragon attack. Wormling is hacked and slashed, uh, laying sideways, tongue hanging out of its mouth. Little cartoon crosses on its eyes. Clearly, this thing is dead. <laughs> uh, the blood is beginning to pool. Where it. is his fucking treasure? Uh, actually, this is treasure. We can harvest him and sell a lot. You yeah. go ahead and do that. I'm looking for the, the gem and everything. And I'm sure he's hoarded a few other things of being a dragon. Yeah, you can use animal handling to carve him up appropriately. You're going to need two rolls because it is a wormling that is much smaller. Uh, Toro or Tortuga Brothers, are you searching for treasure or trying to scalp it? We will both scalp. I'm looking for the treasure. You so scalp. a twenty and I'll a sixteen. Treasure, huh? I can scalp it. Go ahead. You no. you made it. I assume you're taking the hide, correct, Nigel? You missed. Yeah, hide, tongue, glands. Because well, a lot of this could be used as magical components. You're going to take both hides 
you're going to split down his backbone and you're going to get two large swaths. Uh, the uh, Moron brothers here are going after the head. No, I'm not. He is. He made one roll out of two. I will swat him away. <laughs> Back off! Uh, will, you ran away. away. You well, ran will, away. Back off. I will push away the small gnome. And I will stab him with my quill. <laughs> well, he is you going will to die by to the you. pen at this point. What's uh, that? The pen, will, the pen is my pen. will actually kill him if he yeah. stabs him with it. Do I find his treasure? <laughs> Underneath its buttocks, you find a yeah. gem the size of a man's fist. It is orange. As you I'm... hold it up, you see that it magnifies the distance. Or, I'm sorry, diminishes the distance. Oh, but... I'm taking... No, no, I'm not going to hold it up. I'm going to slide a hand it. Oh, wait a minute. Do I, do I get to roll to see? Because I was searching for treasure. Do I get to see it myself? You get the investigation check. If you roll higher than she does... I you'll... rolled a nat 20. Oh, oh. 23. May I roll a perception check? Nope, you are busy card. Okay. That's fair. Yep. Nat 20. Uh, Rosa, you also find about uh, 700 gold pieces of current currency as well as ancient currency. I actually, and I'm not going to hide that. I'm just, I'm, I'm I don't just, think well, you can. That's, that's nice. No, 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 no. Basically, I just want the jam. They could have the rest. There is also an old deer carcass and a damaged oh backpack that has three bone scroll tubes. <laughs> Ooh. I will pick at those as well. Treasure, then, toss, not carving up a body. I'll toss. I'll toss the scrolls at Nigel. I, I will look I at. I'll look at Net. Can, I will look at the torque. It was like, can you even read those? I don't think I can read you can't. Well, thank you. You yeah, but you guys are not spellcasters. So. Um, actually, he is, but he doesn't oh, do spell, he? scrolls. Yeah, so I didn't think. I didn't the think Tortuga so. brothers. Otherwise, uh, I'd have it's with them. Let's see. I'm gonna uh, quickly grab and wipe them on my ass and then throw to Nigel. Like a monkey? Like a monkey. Nice. Like a monkey. Somebody's got to throw poo in this Somebody's game. Somebody's got to throw or poo. it's not a freaking uh, Frank uh, game. Nigel, you got both swaths. Uh, Dusty, you got one tooth <laughs> uh, and mangled its tongue. Uh, oh, that was a good juicy part. <laughs> the uh, Ned, uh, Ned and Rosa D12 <laughs> against each other. D12, huh? Uh, ten. Four. Ten uh, is going to get that backpack and the uh, scroll tubes. Uh, that's fine. Is that all it's in there? I don't care, but I don't care about it anyways. I got what I wanted. Uh, I one tube know. has uh, mage first level. One has mage second level, and the third has a clerical first level. Some type of healing. Uh, as I see, we are dead on time. I will call it a victory. Uh, of course, the, e for published, victory. the published scenario has a surprise that I will explain to these guys in post. Uh, little Frankie, what'd you think? I thought <laughs> this was absolutely okay. <laughs> I, I am underwhelmed by I, your praise. I am underwhelmed see, by the see team. how often you get invited back. <laughs> I am uh, underwhelmed. This was not as exciting. I almost died. I'm angry. Wait a minute. Almost. Why is it not exciting? That's actually you, no, 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 no. This, this is what made it exciting. <laughs> he was, he almost died. Oh us. my god! If I, in fact, I, I, if I almost die, hey, I'm happy if I almost die. I love to see how One close star I can on get. Yelp. Not as happy as I am. <laughs> One uh, star middle on Frank, what'd you think? Uh, I loved it up until the fact that Frank broke a promise and Noodle did not die, but I think it worked out perfectly. Uh, the characters, the way they rolled up, aggravated the shit out of Carol. That was a, kind of a purpose. <laughs> I figured it'd drive her a little crazy. The <laughs> argument, it all just kind of worked no, out. No, actually, actually, no, it really didn't. I mean, I, I, by hard. Me, me, the no, me, me, the player thought it was. Me, the player thought it was actually really funny that you two were constantly arguing. So no, Rosa might have been more. Oh please, but honestly, I, I, I have a sibling, so I know. Is that your final thought? I guess, I was, uh, well, oh, if you, do you want mine. me to know, do you want to know how, I mean, I thought, I'll tell you what I thought of it. I, I, liked, I really liked it. I think I brought the right character for this. 
um it's that's 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 really that's great i'm hoping to play her more in things like this with treasure hunts and stuff like that because this is now what she's doing after she got that boat in cacophony and sailed off leaving her friends behind Jeez. hey hey what a hey, turncoat they, they didn't want they weren't they, we didn't know each other that well she was good just, enough to steal the boat that y'all won hey uh, they, they didn't they didn't say anything about me stealing yeah, the you're boat. already gone bye bitches <laughs> i'm a pirate what do you want uh I'm dj fired. what'd you think I think that Nigel was a great hit. Uh, he was I, I, awesome. I was trying to make sure. I don't know if I got uh, as annoying as I should have with my eight charisma, but no, I mean the adventure was crap. No. But the, the adventure no, was, was crap. But Nigel was great. No, it was <laughs> awesome, man. On. No, no, you were awesome. You're awesome. No, no, the adventure was fantastic. I, I, I do like the premise, and uh, you know, uh, as a GM, I can kind of see a lot of the. Oh, look at all the misdirection and misleadings. Clearly, it's not what it's going to be intended. Well, I, that's what I would do. <laughs> here in about three minutes, I'm going to explain why that uh, <laughs> pours in. Folks, uh, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the spawn of Cyclops Con uh, Scenario 2. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about this or about D&D in general, please join our Discord. If you want to buy our stuff, yeah, uh, go ahead. We've got a lot of stuff. Uh, got cool shirts and shit like that. Uh, thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for all <laughs> Almost killing man fang. <laughs> and of course, uh, this game didn't stink because, of course, I'm running it. Uh, but if your game stinks, try some adventure sense. It will cheer you. Wakanda forever. Very good. Okay, what'd you guys really think? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good. I always say what I really think, so yeah. you know, I like I'm not it. bullshitting. It's, it was fun, and I, I did. Oh, yeah, I like the present.